hey everyone welcome back to my channel today's video i'm sharing with you a tutorial on how i've created this set of orange mermaid nails using acrylic products only if you want to see how i've achieved this look just keep watching <laughs> Okay, so I'm starting off by placing a bead of summer from Paso powders on the tip of my nail and I'm going to blend it backwards. And then I'm going to come in with a bead of Universal which is the nude acrylic powder from Picasso and I'm applying that to my cuticle and I'm going to blend it downwards. Now I'm applying this orange which is a mixture of Summer and Crimson from Picasso Powders in between Universal and Summer and I'm just applying it on a diagonal and I'm blending upwards and then downwards. Banger.com sent me this tray of beautiful mermaid scales so I'm just going to use the orange from this set and apply it along the edge of that orange acrylic powder and then I'm going to go in and highlight that glitter with chunks of iridescent hexagon orange flakes I'm now using a bit of white acrylic and placing it along the edge of the glitter to create somewhat of a sea foam effect For the index and baby finger, I duplicate the design from my thumb except that I add two small gold starfish charms to the index finger before I encapsulate. Now I found these charms on Amazon, I will link it in the description bar below because they are quite thin enough to encap and appear to be solvent resistant as they have not lost its gold tone as yet. In short, I press the charms into the acrylic before it sets to ensure they are nice and snug and secure. Okay, so for my middle finger, I'm creating an ombre. I'm starting out with summer in the middle, crimson at the tip, and I'm going to blend crimson backwards. And then the mix of the two summer and crimson at my cuticle area, which I'm going to obviously blend downward. Guys, one thing I love about these powders is how seamlessly they blend. Look at how beautiful and fiery this ombre is. I just love it so much. For my ring finger, I apply universal to my cuticle area and I blend that downward. Then I pick up a bead of summer and my orange mix together on my brush to create a marbled effect on my tip and I just apply that in patting motions so that the color does not blend together completely and then I just use the tip of my brush and pull traces of the color up onto Universal. And for my pinky finger I'm creating a similar gradient to my thumb and index minus the selfish but with an added touch of crimson at the tip of my nail blended backward into summer.
back to my middle finger I'm now applying some of the mermaid scales in no particular pattern and then I end cap with clear as soon as the clear acrylic begins losing its shine I take my mermaid mesh which I had resting in clear powder and stretch it into my encapsulated nail to create the indentation of mermaid scales after which I gently pull and tug the mesh out of the nail and fill those scales with white acrylic powder. I then encap the rest of my nails with a layer of clear acrylic and as I've mentioned before, encapping designs like this will ensure that your design remains protected when you are filing and shaping your nails. Okay, so here I'm just showing you how I use a medium grit carbide bit to file away the excess white acrylic from on top of that middle finger with the mermaid scales to reveal the clean crisp lines and then I will just go ahead and file and buff and shape the rest of my nails off camera and I'll meet you back to complete this design in a bit. I use this foolproof cocktail which is the ONS brush on resin as well as the hurry up nail glue dryer from Ocean Nail Supply to apply my Swarovski crystals. It is the only product that I have used thus far that holds the Swarovski crystals in place until my clients come back for their infill two to three weeks later. I then apply one coat of my no wipe top coat and I cure for 60 seconds under my LED lamp to complete this design. And here's the completed design. Let me know in the comment section below if you've enjoyed this tutorial or you can also give my video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel on your way out. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.